On today's show, Honda engineers came up with a clever way to add more trunk space to the new Accord Hybrid. Porsche and Aston are expanding their brands way beyond the automotive industry, and Acura teases the all-new RDX. All that and more coming right up on Autoline Daily. This is Autoline Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. The Chinese market for light commercial vehicles, or LCVs, is closing in on 3 million sales annually and demand is increasing for European-style vans. So Renault and Chinese automaker Brilliance are forming a joint venture to build LCVs in China starting in 2020. The JV will manufacture vehicles for Renault and Brilliance's Jinbei and Haosung brands in three segments. Minivans, or what they call MPVs in Europe, as well as medium and heavy vans. The companies are aiming to sell 150,000 vehicles annually by 2022. Yesterday, Honda showed a new Insight prototype. Today, Acura is teasing an all-new RDX prototype. For the first time, the crossover was designed and developed in America and rides on a new Acura-exclusive platform. It appears much more shapely than the current model, and funny enough, it has one of those shark fins we were talking about yesterday. It also wears the brand's new signature grille, along with a sleek set of headlights. The interior is all new and features a similar gear and drive mode selector as the Acura NSX. The user interface and operating system were designed from a clean sheet as well. Like the Insight, the new RDX prototype will make its debut at the Detroit Auto Show. You know, Honda faced a real challenge in developing the new Accord Hybrid, and that's coming up next. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. We love when car companies add thoughtful little touches to their vehicles, and you know what? Jeep is one of the best. Every new Jeep Wrangler comes with this little tool kit in the center console. It has a socket wrench and several Torx bits that are used to remove the roof, fold down the windshield, adjust the rear view camera, and take off the doors. In fact, the door hinges have T50 cast into them, so you know exactly which Torx bit to use when you want to go for that open air driving. You know, it's small touches like these that cement the brand loyalty of your customers. Honda faced a major challenge developing the new Accord Hybrid. It wanted more trunk space and a 60-40 fold-down rear seat. On the old Hybrid, the battery and power electronics, what they call the IPU, were blocking the way. So Honda engineers set out to shrink the package. Battery technology is better, so they made it smaller. They also shrunk the electronics. Altogether, the IPU is now one-third smaller. That allowed them to move it out of the trunk and under the back seat. There still wasn't enough room, so they made the gas tank smaller, 40 liters versus 60 liters on the old one. The driving range on the new hybrid is actually less than before, but it's still better than the gasoline-only Accord. And this is a great example of the kind of trade-offs engineers have to go through in developing a car. They sacrificed a bit of range so that the car would be more user-friendly. And that should help Honda sell more Accord hybrids. Hey, don't forget to join us later this afternoon for AutoLine After Hours and our annual Presents and Coles show. Who will we rip to pieces for being naughty? And who will we praise for being nice? Come join us. This is going to be a fun show. And a quick programming note here. AutoLine Daily and After Hours We'll be off the air next week as we take a well-deserved year-end break. We'll be back here again on January 3rd. Coming up next, why in the world are Porsche and Aston Martin designing condos in Miami? Lighter, safer, stronger, quieter, and more sustainable. Tell us where you need to go and we'll help you get there. Dow Automotive Systems. We don't succeed unless you do. We've seen automakers like Cadillac, Ford, Porsche, Volvo, and Hyundai recently roll out new subscription-based programs 
that lump all the costs of ownership, including insurance, into one payment. This allows automakers to avoid used vehicles piling up as they come off lease. They can manage which models are included in the subscription program and how often they're swapped out. With some programs, customers can get in a new vehicle whenever they want, and we may be seeing a shift in consumer preference. One expert says the trend of longer-term loans could signal that people are ready to embrace a subscription-based ownership model. But how about you? Are you ready to switch over to paying for your car like you pay for your phone? For the better part of a century, luxury car brands did one thing. They made luxury cars. But now they're beginning to discover that their brands have cachet well outside of the automotive industry. Porsche and Aston Martin recently designed luxury residential buildings in Miami. The entranceways and the public areas use design themes developed by each car company. And if you want them to design your own personal condo, they'll do that too. All you have to do is open your checkbook, but you better be ready to spend millions. But whoever thought we'd see the day when two of the most glorious name in sports cars would turn their attention towards high-end residential buildings. But that brings us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.